Okay, hi, I'm Marek Mulaczek from SciTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take screenshots and manipulate them in Photoshop so you could put them in a blog, for example. Okay, so here I am in a web browser and I'm going to show you how to take screenshots and put them in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to start in a web browser first. Because I'm on a PC, I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut to take screenshots. If you're on a Mac, you can use the keyboard shortcut to take a screenshot and then save it as a file on your hard drive. By default, Mac saves the files onto a desktop and also saves them as a PNG file. We're also going to save the images as a PNG files in Photoshop. PNGs are just so much better than JPEGs for screenshots. Okay, so I'm here on this website, on Amazon website. And let's say, for some reason, I want to write a post about this fantastic movie, What the Bleep Do We Know. I definitely recommend. I loved it. I'm just ordering, ordering it for myself. <laughs> and I want to use this image here, okay, for a blog. So I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm using print screen button because I'm on a PC. Now, the important bit is you need to have Photoshop started already. Okay, so I'm going to press print script on the keyboard. I'll jump into Photoshop and I'll create a new document. So file new. Because I've taken screenshot and Photoshop was running already, Photoshop will try to create a new document with the preset of the clipboard. So you just press OK. It uses your screen resolution. And then you just paste it. Edit, paste or Control V or Command V. So that's the image in here. Now I'm going to zoom into 100% view. So I'll just press Control 1. Okay. I'm going to move it a bit because I just want to use this image. So I'm actually going to crop it. I'll select the crop tool. Okay. Make sure you have no options here in the options bar, so no width, no height, no resolution. And I'm actually going to use the image and maybe description here as well because I'm going to point the viewers to Amazon website. So I'm going to click and drag. Now don't worry, don't try to be too precise when you start. With You'll be able to change it in just a moment. So I'm going to crop that like that. Now you've got the handles here, so you can resize it. You can drag it up and down. A bit here, maybe a bit here. If you want to reposition it, you can easily use arrow keys on your keyboard. This looks good. Maybe a bit less space here. Okay. Once you're done, you either click on this check mark in the options bar or press enter or return on a keyboard. So I'm going to press enter. That's the image. Now I want to remove some elements from here. For example, this advert of Love Film. So I'm going to use Rectangular Marquee Tool. Again, no options here, FF0. Click and drag to highlight it. Okay. And just delete it. Just press delete key on the keyboard. Okay. I use the delete key because the background is white. If you have a different color of the background, you may see a different color below. So just change the color of your background. Okay, I'll deselect it, Control D, or select deselect if you use menu. Okay, anything else you want to remove from here? I'll keep the movie title, the format DVD, the actors, that's fine. Like, maybe that's one as well, so I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I just want to remove maybe that thing here as well. I'll just leave the stars. I don't want that here. And I'll move it a bit. Okay, again, delete key and deselect it. With price, I'll leave it and decide to deliver free in UK, that's fine. In stock, that's fine. And maybe I'll just get rid of that as well. So again, I'm just deleting it. Looks great. I'll zoom out to back to 100%. Now it's time to export it. If you're going to put it on your own blog and you're hosting it yourself, it's important how big the file is. So we're going to optimize it for the web now. I want to make it look good and at the same time make it as small as possible in terms of file size. I want it to be too big. So we're going to optimize it using Safe for Web and Devices. If you look at the file, you find the option called Safe on Web De and Devices. That's how you optimize the graphics that are going to end up on the web. Okay. So I'm going to select Safe Web and Devices. This will open a new big window in Photoshop. I've got it set up to PNG already, but if you don't, look in the... Well, first of all, 
make sure it's set to optimize this tab here in the top left corner. Okay, you can look at the original, optimized, to app, and for app. This is I'm going to use optimized because I know what file format I want to use. In the top right corner, I'll set it to PNG8. PNG8 is great for screenshots. And then you can limit number of colors. I'll start with the maximum 256. It looks really good. It's 49 kilobytes. And then I'll try to lower number of colors. Keep an eye on the image, see if it changes. I can even resize this window some closer to the actual image. That's 128. Still looks very good. And it's 40 kilobytes. I'll try 64. Still looks good, even though it is losing a bit of the quality, but it's only 32.9 kilobytes. I'll try 32 as well. No, doesn't look good. <coughs> so 64 is fine, and it's only 32.9 kilobytes. <coughs> now the image is quite large, it's 622 pixels wide, so I'm going to resize it. I think it's too big. For example, on my blog, Photoshop Light from Bridge.co.uk, the actual width of the post is a 540 or 550 pixels. So I'm trying to make images no more than 500 pixels. So I'm going to resize it to 450 pixels. It will be a good size. I'll just press enter. And now the image is only 20 kilobytes. Looks good. I'm ready to go. Convert to sRGB. Make sure it's checked. That's great. What about the preview? I'll just use the standard RGB with no color management. That's what people with the monitors not calibrated see. And I'll click save. Okay. What do you want to save it? I'm going to save it on desktop. I'll call it uh, screenshot. Okay. Format images only. Settings, default settings. Okay. And just click save. And that's how you save the file. I'm going to have a look on the desktop to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the file. Screenshot. It's 21 kilobytes. And it's 450 pixels. I'm going to open it with the photo viewer. So just right click on it, open with Windows Photo Viewer, and that's the image. The reason I used right click is because the way I've got set up on my machine is if I double click on it, it will open with Adobe Firewax. You can see it here if I just open with the first option here is Firewax on the top. Okay, okay I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.